Well, I'm here with Jeff Pennick from our Rehabilitation Center, and Jeff has just given a presentation on vision issues. Now, we don't usually think about vision when you think about you guys over at rehab, Jeff, but tell us about your presentation today. Sure. Basically, I discussed um, how you can take a look at um, residents with low vision and see um, what how it's affecting them and how to make their life a lot easier, a lot more independent by, uh, by adapting their environment, taking a look at their home, uh, finding out where they have difficulties if it's with feeding, um, looking at, um, like I said, their home. We can take a look and see uh, if they're having issues with low vision. As far as contrast, um, if they're, their ability to see um, doorways, things like that, we can adapt the environment that they can get around a lot easier and a lot better and safer, um, taking a look to make sure um, there's no safety concerns as far as clear pathways in the home. Uh, you know, we can label uh, microwaves uh, so they can use a microwave a little bit easier through uh, use of tapes that they're able to see or uh, pieces of felt um, so they can get by a lot easier with their uh, low vision. So our, uh, our rehabilitation department is not just about uh, physical therapy, like you've hurt your leg and you need some help to get your mobility back. We've got all these occupational therapy uh, factors that you're just talking about just to help a person get through their day with whatever is going on in their, in their physical uh, body and in any kind of impairment that might happen. So vision is just a big part of that, isn't it? Correct. I mean, you need your vision pretty much to do everything all day. I mean, from telling time to writing checks to, to um, even getting dressed. So there's ways that you can, um, I was telling the group today, um, just uh, telling time and being oriented with the day. You can use a smartphone and even talk to your phone to tell you what time it is, what, uh, what the date is. You know, you can even have it set an alarm clock for you if you have issues, you know, uh, as far as... Uh, working a, a clock. The other thing is um, there's a lot of um, applications that are out there that can help you um, with your, your life as well. Um, uh, if pills, if you still take pills at home and um, med medication management is an issue, um, there's different uh, ways that you can adapt. Um, even pill bottles, you can color coat your pill, bottle, pill bottles. They also um, make pill bottles that will talk to you so you know what pills you're taking. So there's ways that you can... So there, there are so many tools. We're not just talking about the little reacher to help you pick up your, uh, your sock off the floor, but there's so many tools these days that can just help uh, just be able to be self-sufficient and, and do what you need to do. So, um, you know, our rehab department is here for you folks, and there's a lot of things that folks might not have really thought of that, that you can do to help. Oh, definitely. I mean, um, with occupational therapy, we're looking at your activities of daily living. Um, also, you know, the other activities that you do for leisure, you know, that make up part of your life. So if you're having issues, needle pointing or whatever your hobbies are, there's always ways that we can take a look at it to make, you, you know, your life fulfilled and you're, you're able to do the things that you want to do. All right. Well, thanks, Jeff. We appreciate right. it. You know, folks, if you're struggling with some issue, something that's maybe it's kind of getting in the way of you having a, a good time in your life, perhaps uh, Jeff and his team at rehabilitation at the Rehabilitation Center could, could help with something. It would be worth checking out. Come see Jeff. He'd be willing, very happy to, uh, to chat with you and see what they can maybe do to help. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. Sure.